Hello my friends and thank you for joining me for this new crazy and artsy adventure. It's a design team project for all and create and you will find links to the stamps and stencils in the description box below. And before we get going I want to thank you all for the well wishes and support while me and my family had Covid. I feel so much better now. So, my old art journal is almost filled and very bulky, so for this big crazy project I brought out a new big dilutions journal that my friend Linda gave me, and I choose a spread to work on. Off camera I cut out two flaps that will be attached later on, and I also bring out a few book pages with beautiful text on, and now I am ready to go. I start with tearing my book pages into pieces and then I bring out distress collage medium and a big brush and start gluing the pieces in place all over my pages and seal some of them with a coat of collage medium on top. I seal some of them but not all because I want that difference in texture where some text pieces are sealed and untouched by the color I will add and some pieces will suck up my colors completely. That's the fun part with this background. I do exactly the same with my flaps. I add the pieces and seal a few while some are just glued down. So, I'm using lots of stamp sets by Bipasha BK for this project. The first is Ocean Wonders number 386, Sea Life number 390, Time Up number 325 and Petal Power number 622. I stamp every image in VersaFine Onyx Black ink and I will color them with a combo of SIG watercolor markers and Gansai Tambi watercolor palettes in Starry colors and Gem colors. I also bring out a few metallic distress crayons and gelatos. I start with the metallic crayons and the starry palette to add metal to the clock and then I go in with my SIG Clean Color Real Brush markers in four shades of brown and I add the brown in layers and use a wet brush here and there to blend out harsh lines. I want some of my images to look old, like this typewriter, and I use the metallic crayons to add color to it. But some images I want bright, happy colors, like this fish. I use four shades of yellow and oranges to color both of my flowery fishes, going from light to dark and back again, and using water where I need it to blend the colors. I stamped some of my images twice because I want to paper piece some things like the flowers on the fishes. I color the flowers with a hint of yellow in the center and later I will add dimension by gluing the extra flowers on top of my fish image. I will paper piece the hat on this octopus later, but now I am using four shades of purple to color him in. For the seahorse that has a steampunk vibe in my mind, I take a darker and a lighter metallic crayon directly to it and use a wet brush to blend them together. I'm using the gem color palette for the crab. I use the red and add more color where I want shadows and dilute with water where I want highlights. 
I also color a lot of seashells, some in that metallic steampunkish way and some in bright and happy colors. Ok, so I don't have a perfect way of attaching flaps, but this works for me. I brush on collage medium on the washi tape or the paper. Because washi tape is made to come off, I don't trust it in my journal without some kind of glue. So I add the tape to page and the flap on the other half of the tape. And I add tape in the same way on the other side, making a tape hinge. I hope that makes sense. I have a little white texture paste left in one jar, so I decide to use translucent grit paste here and there and see if it makes a difference under inks. I use a stencil called Title number 137 and I push the two different pastes through that stencil quite random all over pages and flaps. On top of book page collage and one opaque and one translucent texture paste, I will make a mess with inks. I have dilutions, shimmer sprays in lemon zest, fresh lime, blue lagoon and bubblegum pink. And I have dilution spray inks in periwinkle blue, London blue, calypso teal after midnight, polished jade and crushed grapes. The flaps are now coral reefs and I spray them with shimmer spray but the green is clogged so I pour that instead and then I add the regular spray inks lightest to darkest. I add water and allow the vibrant inks to blend over texture paste and text and then I let it dry overnight. It is so cool to see the different kinds of collage and texture paste shine through the beautiful colors. I needed some kind of underwater plant so I decided to use one of the flowers in this stamp set Petal Power number 622 by Pasha BK. Then I move on to coloring a shrimp hot pink with four markers. I color the whale with four shades of turquoise and the waves behind the whale will be paper pieced and popped up and pink later. To tie everything together I bring out those dilution shimmer sprays and use a brush to add shimmer on each image in their own color. So blue lagoon for the whale, bubblegum pink for the shrimp, lemon zest for the fishes and flower centers and so on.
So, let's do some paper piecing. I put foam tape behind the hat of the octopus and glue it on top of him, popped up. And I do that on almost all of the images, like the pink waves behind the whale and the flowers on the fishes. Here is that background with the vibrant colors and the yummy texture. So let's start putting these pages together, beginning with the seashells colored in metallic crayons. I spread them out between flaps and pages so I can see where to fill in with other images to come. And when all my metallic seashells are in place I start adding the colorful seashells, spreading them out at the bottom of my pages, that is the bottom of my sea. I cut off half of my clock and tuck it behind some seashells sticking up as a trace of humans under the sea. I also start adding those water plants colored in turquoise teal and blue also sticking up among seashells. I add the typewriter behind the right hand coral reef flap and add more seashells and flowers around it. The hot pink shrimp gets to live on the right flap and I continue adding seashells. I actually had to stop and color more seashells so I could cover the bottom of the sea. I add the crab on the back side of one flap and the seahorse on the back side of the other flap. So, now that almost all my seashells, plants and sea creatures are in place, I move my bigger images around to figure out where they should go and start gluing them down, the flower fishes, the octopus and the whale.
At this point we could be done, but I need something more. A playful contrast to the other images, so I bring out two stamp sets by Janet Klein. Poseidon number 727 and Fishes number 589. And I stamp both images in VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. Next I use the sentiments from the Poseidon set. I bring out WOW's gold superfine embossing powder and I stamp the sentiments in Versamark embossing ink, cover with that gold embossing powder and melt the powder with my heat tool. To make everything match and the words to show better, I bring out Dilution Shimmer Spray in Blue Lagoon and Bubblegum Pink and spray them over the gold embossing. I use my Koi watercolor markers to give both the Mermaid and Poseidon a skin tone. I only have a skin tone set of six of the Koi markers and are trying them out for the first time and they work very well. For Poseidon's dress I use a light blue marker and blend it out with water just to add some dimension to the white and I do the same with a grey marker for his beard. Then I use the starry color palette to add gold to his trident and crown. For the flower eye on the mermaid I use two purple markers and then I move on to the mermaid's hair. I use four shades of pink to color in her hair, darker where there are curls and lighter in between so there will be movement in her hair. For the fish tail I use two shimmer sprays in blue lagoon and bubblegum pink and I blend them together to get a purple shadow to the blue tail. Next I use Lemon Zest Shimmer Spray to color in the decorations in her hair. And last but not least I use the pink shimmer spray to add some extra shimmer to her hair. I place Poseidon and the two sentiments cut down behind the left flap, one sentiment saying Poseidon and the other one that will show up better in the close-up photos is saying God of fresh water and sea. I want these cute and playful images behind the flaps so the contrast they give will show when you open the flaps, so I put my mermaid behind the right flap. And now, these all and create mixed media art channel pages are finished. Thank you so much for watching this long and I hope to see you back here soon again. Until the next time, happy crafting!